in your Welcome everyone, the regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Arlen here along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And it's time for the State Farm starting lineups. Game one, first round. First for the match, Nelson and Richardson are manning the backcourt. And it's Dwight Howard locking down the middle. He's a superstar, no doubt. And what a huge boost for this team. Night in and night out. And it's Hito Turkoglu, and it's Bass, and it's a four spot. And looking at the 76ers, they've got Trevor Booker. They look to him to provide that necessary presence down low. Then it's Paul George, and it's Yee in at the four. In a seven-game series, they have the home crowd advantage. You can, you can feel it in the air, guys. But will they be able to start the series with the win? And they're aware that this... Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today is the day, y'all. The NBA 2012 playoffs are finally here. Yo, only got one thing to say to y'all, man. Real talk. I'm going to be out of commission. I'm telling y'all now. Um, first off, let me give you guys a little bit of background and brackets. Um, first of all, we already know the regular NBA. In the East, you got Chicago, Miami, the Pacers, the Celtics, the Hawks, the Magic, the Knicks, and then my Sixers, right? Now, in the West, of course, you got the Spurs, you got OKC, you got the Lake Show, you got the Grizzlies, you got the, uh, the Live City Clips. Uh, you got the Golden State Warriors, big up to them. In seventh, you got the Mavs. And in eighth, you got the Jazz. Now, let me give you guys my bracket from my NBA 2K12, my player move for my point guard. In the East, we got Miami took first. Chicago took the number second spot. Boston got third. My Sixers, we got fourth. That's because, of course, I'm on the team. Uh, Orlando made it in fifth. Milwaukee actually made the playoffs in May 6. The Knicks is in the seventh spot. And guess who made the playoffs? The Nets. So I'm guessing D. Will, you know, he, he must be magical in the regular game. Now, on the West, we got the, the Mavs came in first. Now, we already know why the Mavs came in first. They was the champs last year. And the game upped a lot of their stats and stuff. So you know what it is. In the number two spot, we got the Spurs. In number three, we got Golden State. Number four, we got Portland. Portland made the playoffs. Number five, we got OKC. Yes, they all the way down at the bottom. Number six spot, we got the Nuggets. The Nuggets made the playoffs. The seventh spot, the Grizzlies did make the Grizzlies did make the playoffs. And then number eighth, the last spot in the Western playoffs, you got the Clippers. I don't know where the Lake Show is, and I'm telling you right now, I can't tell y'all. A lot of people were saying, yo, what happened to Kobe? Why is he in any standings? Why is he in any MVP races? I don't know. That, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to look up on it. And my next video in the second game of this round, I'm going to check up on what happened to Kobe. I'm going to check on what happened to the late show, why they didn't make the playoffs. But check out Dwight Howard with that crazy dunk. I don't even know why they have George on him. Where's Where's Booker? Where's Nocioni? I'm just trying to figure out why we running with the smaller uh, setup against a bigger team. Now, for some reason, I had one intention this game. Get the White Howard fouled out. Now, the reason I had that intention is because if they keep the White Howard in the game the entire time, we're going to lose. It's that simple. But check me out on the backdoor cut. Man, me and Booker have been setting up that play all season. I've been working my hardest to get my dunk up so that it can work to perfection. But check me out trying to get out on a break. And look what happens, man. A Dwight Howard gets a crazy alley-oop. Now, you can already tell that one only one person runs this offense in Orlando. And it's not Jameer Nelson. Jameer Nelson has nothing to do with the offense. But check me out on a nice deal with me, me the Booker, you know, man. That's all I've been doing all day. I've been trying to get Booker to show out on Dwight. Now, let me get back to who on, who runs this offense in Orlando. Hito Turkoglu, I don't know if he's a point forward on this game, but this guy brings down the ball. He sets up the... Oh! I'm sorry. Hold, hold up on the comm. Hold up. Goodness, look at that pass. 
But yeah, like I was saying, man, Hito Turkoglu, he runs this offense, man. It seems like every time he's in the game, he's setting up the plays. He's running the isolations. Everything is happening, and the ball stays in Hito's hand. Now, I can believe that because I've seen that in real NBA. You know, Hito does it all. So, you know, I have nothing against that. But one thing that's killing me and my team, we can't get a big push because Hito is running the offense, and, I, and I'm sticking Jameer. So the ball isn't in Jameer's hands the entire time. You feel me? So I'm having a real hard time in breaking away in a lead against this team. But this is the last play before we get into halftime. Check out this nice play by Yee, man. Let's go to halftime, y'all. Welcome, everyone, to HP at the half. Round one of the playoffs is underway. Out in the city of brotherly love, the 76ers with the lead against the Magic. They're looking to make a statement in game one and set the tone for the series. They felt the impact of Trevor Booker. He's got 13 points and been a huge factor on the glass. And for Orlando, they're looking good in their own right. Phenomenal work on the defensive glass. They're boxing out. They're hauling it in every time. An impressive first half for Hidu Turkoglu. He's up to 14 points and a few assists, making nice plays for himself and others. These two have set the benchmark so far tonight, leading their teams in first half scoring. Thanks so much for stopping by. Now let's get you back out to the second half. So long. All right, let's get into the third quarter, guys. Now, one thing that I want to bring out in this quarter, I wanted to bring out the dominance that Dwight Howard has. Now, every time that Dwight is in the game, something bad happens. That's why I wanted to get this guy fouled out. Now, check it out. I didn't go in for the rebound, and Nelson went in and grabbed the rebound over two seven-footers, you might as well say. I don't understand how that happens. Now, check it out. I try to get out on the break. I'm trying to make moves happen, and this is what happens to me. I get hit up top of my head. Jameer and Nelson cannot miss from three. If I'm not sticking this guy, if I don't got a hand, in, even with the hand in his face, y'all seen the prior play. He hit the three with my hand in his face, last second on the clock. It was killing me. But check me out as I get that still. We're out on the break. I'm going to give an outlet to Kmart because I don't want to force it. Now, check out the pass that he sends back to me. I'm going to try to come around and look at Yee with the nice cut. That was a beautiful cut. It was telegraphed. I like the way the AI responded to me getting to the rim that time. And Yee actually cut without me having to do anything. Now, as you can see right here, I get the White Howard to foul me once again. That's his fourth personal in the third quarter. So you know what it means. He has to go sit on his ass. Just how I like it, man. Go sit down. It's time for the Sixers to actually try to pull away from this team, get the lead, and do what we do. Now... You you guys already know, man. The playoffs is not to be played with. I'm going to tell you guys now that this series that I'm playing against Orlando is the hardest that I have played any team. You want to know why? Because Orlando doesn't go in for dunks and layups and mid-range jump shots. They shoot threes the entire time. It does not matter. Look at this. Hito for three. Hito for three all game long, guys. So this is a very tough team to beat. Every time I think I'm, I'm coming close, I'm within four points, five points maybe, they come and just shoot a three. And you know they're going to make it, man. At the end of this game, and stats, you're going to see how many three-point shots each person took on the team. They got Jameer Nelson. They got Duhan. They got Hedo. They got Richardson. They got the other Richardson. They got Ryan Anderson. Everybody is shooting three-point shots, man. It's making my team look bad because... Every play that I see, it looks like we're giving up effort. You know, we're putting up a lot of effort, but it seems like they're just killing us from the three-point line. Now, this right here is the last play of the, uh, uh, the third quarter, so you know I had to take the shot, man. Let's get it on. I hit that shot, baby. That's clutch right there, man. That's clutch. Let's get into the fourth. Now, as we get going here in the fourth, let's send it over to Doris Burke for our Sprite Spark. Well, Kevin, our spark of the game in this one, the stretch by the 76ers. It was locked down defense in the second quarter that allowed them to build this lead they now enjoy. Another quarter with that kind of defensive intensity will be more than enough to close this game out, Kevin. I can start it out. Now, I just came off the bench, and immediately I go in for a few daggers, man. I'm shooting three-point shots this match. Um, a lot of people have been telling me, yo, shoot some threes. But, you know, I only shoot a few, man. I only shoot them when I need to. 
I'm not the type of guy to, you know, pop out. I like to cut to the rim, actually, man. That's my type of game, man. Everybody always says, yo, yo, Apa, why are you always going inside, trying to go for dunks, layups? That's the type of player I am, man. I'm not a great jump shooter. Well, my, my, my player is, but to me, my mentality is not shoot first. My mentality is go in, try to get fouled, try to, you know, get the end one and all of that. That's my type of mentality, so... You already know what it is. Now, check it out. This play got totally dismantled from a bump. So, all I could do was just pass it to George. I didn't want to get the bad shot selection. So, I gave it up to him and he hit it. Now, check it, Check this out. When do you think that I'm not going to try to get to the rim with Dwight Howard on me? Now, notice Dwight Howard is shuffling like a pro. I don't know how in the hell. Oh, fouled out. Hold up. Hold up. Dwight is fouled out? Uh-oh. You know what that means, guys. We're up nine points. Dwight Howard is not in the game. This game is over, man. That That's just the way I see it. We have nothing to worry about here. As long as Dwight Howard isn't in the game, stuff like this happens. We hitting threes, baby. We hitting threes. Now, Nelson, he was trying to ISO. I noticed, but, you know, it's all good, man. They can't hit nothing. Look at this. Missing everything. Now, what I did notice in this game, usually when you start scoring... And the momentum shifts. The computer starts to call a lot of timeouts. And the Magic, for some reason, didn't do that here. They may, they might have called one, but by that time, we were already on a run. You feel me? Look at this, man. Two minutes left. Nelson got the ball. He tries to pass it. To, I don't know why Richardson tried to pass it to Nelson in that situation. He already knows that I'm playing the passing lanes, baby. And check out that nice windmill. Nobody could block that one. I should have got a foul. Now, I'm sitting on the bench. I decided to show y'all the last few uh, seconds of the game just to show that, you know, my team didn't need me. They let me rest because we're going to try to take game two in Philadelphia. We're trying to go to Orlando up to nothing. That's how we doing it, man. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. You already know I'm bringing game two out when the next uh, real NBA game is. All right, y'all. Peace. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. That'll do it for now for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals here on 2K Sports. Now let's check out our Jordan player of the game. Yeah, let's check some stats out, man. Hito Turkoglu with 24 points, Richardson with 24. Everybody was doing their thing on this team. They gave me a run for my money in the beginning, man. Trevor Booker with 35. Goodness, Yee. My man Yee had 23. We doing it big out here, man. You know how I get this assist game on. Check out this team stats. We actually beat them in turnovers, but I was the one with the most. You already know what it is, man. Also, I'm playing injured, guys. So you know what that means, man. I'm not even at 100% yet. Let's go. <laughs> You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to game two? It's good to get a win in that first game. I know we definitely felt the pressure to get it done and not have to play from behind. When you start any series out with a win, it gives you that much extra confidence moving forward. I think we just need to do everything we can to carry that forward to game two. Let's go, Don City!